Hey you guys, today I am so, so excited to share with you my recipe for gluten-free marshmallow crescent rolls. These were also called, when I was growing up, magic marshmallow crescent puffs, but now they're also called resurrection rolls or empty tomb rolls. They are absolutely fantastic, exactly what I remember they used to be when I was growing up. They are just incredible you guys so let's get started and i'll show you how to make them okay the first thing we have to do is make our dough unless you want to use a gluten-free store-bought like puff pastry you could probably use that i haven't tried it but i tend to not like to buy those things because for one thing they are not always accessible in my area and another thing they are super duper expensive way more than I want to spend on a roll of pastry so I just assume make my own and they of course Pillsbury does not make uh, crescent rolls that are gluten-free in the can and honestly I don't think they would be that good if they did make them so we make our own gluten-free crescent roll dough and with that you can make so many things if you haven't seen how to make this dough I urge you to go back to my crescent roll video and watch how easy it is to make this dough and then you can store it in your fridge for a little while you can store it in your freezer for a long while and have it at the ready when you want to make something with it so I just took this out of my freezer put it in my fridge overnight and let it thaw and I was good to go the next day so here we are I am rolling this out to a rectangle that's about 10 by 14 inches and of course I roll this out and then cut off the trimmings because I like to have everything very straight. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but that's just me. It's my like OCD when it comes to rolling out pastry. <laughs> so once you get a big enough rectangle, check it with a ruler, make sure it's 10 by 14 and I just like to then trim off those edges and make sure that I have my length and width. And you can use these edges again, just like you do in any of my other, my puff pastry, my croissants. Don't throw away your trimmings because you can use those to make different things. You can even roll that dough back out if you accumulate enough of it and have something very similar. It won't be quite as puffy, but it will still taste just as fantastic. By the way, this is only half a recipe of the dough. And what I did is I made up two recipes worth of the dough, and then I cut each of those in half. So I had four uh, pieces of dough and one half is equivalent to one can of crescent rolls. So here I am only making eight crescent rolls. If you wanted to, you could roll this out to double the size and get 16. You would have to use the full amount of dough. I have all of that information within the recipe post. So check that out for all those instructions. So now I'm going to mark this and first I'm going to cut it in half horizontally. So I'm going to mark it at about three and a half inch intervals and that way we'll get four squares out of each side and that will total eight. And these aren't really squares actually, they're more like rectangles. And then just take your straight edge or your ruler and cut down at each of those notches that you made. And then we've got eight rectangles. So I'm going to stack these up right now just so I have a little more room and I'll get out all of my filling ingredients. And this is a quarter cup or 56 grams of melted butter. And then I have eight large marshmallows, a quarter cup or 50 grams of sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and this is one tablespoon of my all-purpose flour blend. So mix that all together. I actually, I normally use large marshmallows for this, but I sent my husband to the store and I said, I just want a package of large marshmallows. 
and he brought me back the giant marshmallows. <laughs> so um, if you have that situation, you could definitely cut them in half. I would not suggest using mini marshmallows because they would be, of course, more difficult to um, roll up, but they'd also be really hard to um, hold together, basically. So I'm dipping it first in butter and then in the cinnamon sugar mixture. And then I'm gonna just fold this up like a package, basically. And make sure you seal the ends tightly, as tightly as you can. And then we're putting these into a greased muffin pan. And I always put this on a sheet pan underneath it because these kind of explode a little bit and some of that marshmallow goo may leak out and you definitely want to catch that if you can or else it's going to go all over the bottom of your oven. All right, I'll just show you one more of these just so you can see once more how easy it is to make these. They are just so simple. Once you have the dough, they're just incredibly simple to make. They could be made in under like 30 minutes. And I have a lot of cinnamon sugar on this one. I really like that flavor, the cinnamon flavor. So if you need to add more, feel free. And then just make sure you pinch those sides really well. And we're gonna bake these at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 12 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. So while that's happening, we can go ahead and make the glaze. So in a little bowl here, I have a half a cup or about 62 grams of powdered sugar. And I'm adding to that two to three teaspoons of milk and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna start with the lower end of the two to three teaspoons, maybe about one teaspoon. I want it a drippy consistency and that is perfect. So I don't need to add any more milk. Okay, these are out of the oven. Look at how incredible these look, you guys. They look exactly like what I remember them to look many, many, many years ago. And I cannot wait for you to try them. So we leave them in the pan for about a minute because they are really hot and they are very fragile. And then we don't want to leave them too long though because then they will stick and you'll never get them out of there. So what I like to do is take a larger spoon and just kind of scoop it underneath and get it out that way. And remember they're hot, so just be careful. And they're very gooey. <laughs> and they might seem like they wanna fall apart. That is perfectly normal of these rolls. They are just like that. They're very, they're a very delicate roll. Okay, let's get our glaze and drizzle that over. I'm just briefly whisking it again, and I'm just using the tines of the whisk to kind of drizzle it over. And that's all there is to it, you guys. Let's try these. Let's just try one while they're still nice and warm and gooey. They're also very good cooler. It just, the marshmallow disappears and it doesn't really completely disappear. It turns into a gooey cinnamon sugary goodness that I just can't even describe other than to say that it is fantastic and you must make these rolls. Enjoy.